June twenty fifth. Receiving one's self in the fires of sorrow. What shall I say? Father, save me from this hour? But for this cause I came unto this hour. Father, glorify thy name. John 12, verses 27 through 28. My attitude as a saint to sorrow and difficulty is not to ask that they may be prevented, but to ask that I may preserve the self God created me to be through every fire of sorrow. Our Lord received himself in the fire of sorrow. He was saved not from the hour, but out of the hour. We say that there ought to be no sorrow, but there is sorrow, and we have to receive ourselves in its fires. If we try and evade sorrow, refuse to lay down our account with it, we are foolish. Sorrow is one of the biggest facts in life. It is no use saying sorrow ought not to be. Sin and sorrow and suffering are, and it is not for us to say that God has made a mistake in allowing them. Sorrow burns up a great amount of shallowness, but it does not always make a man better. Suffering either gives me myself or it destroys myself. You cannot receive yourself in success. You lose your head. You cannot receive yourself in monotony. You grouse. The way to find yourself is in the fires of sorrow. Why it should be so is another matter. But that it is so is true in the scriptures and in human experience. You always know the man who has been through the fires of sorrow and received himself. You are certain that you can go to him in trouble and find that he has ample leisure for you. If a man has not been through the fires of sorrow, he is apt to be contemptuous. He has no time for you. If you receive yourself in the fires of sorrow, God will make you nourishment for other people.